I'm bored. Shh, I'm reading. Reading what? A review of Midsummer Night's Dream. What's that? Ever heard of Shakespeare, Anthony? Oh, right. A play. And it got five stars. What I'd give to play Titania, Queen of the Fairies. What I'd give to have something to do. Hey, Anthony. Hi, Lee. We should make a play. Right here in the living room. And we'll write it, act in it, make the set, make the costumes, play the music, and we'll get people to come along to it. Well, that sounds like fun, but we don't know how to do any of that stuff. Well, we'll ask. Who? The experts. You know Shakespeare. Here we are, the Sydney Opera House. Where do we start? Where all plays start, with a playwright. Hi, Kirsty. Hi, guys. I'm just doing some last minute rewrites of my play, Pardon My Feathers. Might as well get a tan while I'm at it. Rewrites? I think you're getting a bit technical there, Kirsty. Maybe you could start with the basics. Right. Well, first, you need a story. A story? Then you need some people in it, what we call characters. Characters. Then there's something your characters are trying to do, but they run into a problem. Uh, what sort of problem? Well, maybe they're trying to win a competition, but their rival keeps cheating. Or maybe they find a bottle, but it turns out to be magic. Uh, did you get all that, Ivy? So we need a main character and someone causing trouble. Anything else? Maybe there's someone who wants to help along the way, but can they be trusted? Oh yeah, that's good. And we have to decide where it's set, right? Like, in the Antarctic or maybe a haunted castle. Correct. You can improvise your play, make it up as you go, and write it down. Once it's down on paper, it's called a script. How does it end? That's up to you. Do your characters get what they want? Or maybe they don't find what they're hoping for, but they get something else. Something else? What? what? Don't worry about that yet. Let's just start at the beginning. Our play can only have two characters, because there's only two of us. Or we could double up. What's that? I could play two characters, and so could you, and we'd have four characters. OK. Um, what's our story? Let's keep it simple. Mm, I like magic stories. Me too. Let's use Cassie's magic bottle idea. And um, when I open it, you're a genie that comes out and grants me a wish. Uh, yes, and I don't like being in the bottle. I want to escape. Yes. And I need your magic because... Because you're on a desert island, shipwrecked, and you want to go home. Yes, that's our beginning. And maybe it starts raining and so I shelter in a cave. Or maybe I'm looking for firewood. And I see the magic bottle. And you open it, and voila. Voila what? <laughs> I appear. And what do I do? Well, let's improvise and find out. Wait, who are you? Let's say I'm a queen, and I've never had to build a fire before. Yeah, that'll be funny. And what problem do we give her? Maybe that in order for you to escape, you have to trap me in the bottle. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, scene one, a desert island. The queen, covered in seaweed, wakes up. And bursts into tears. Where are my servants? Where are my jewels? Who will build a fire to dry my royal robes? And then a bunch of monkeys come past. Everybody hail the queen of a ship. Oh, hang on, you're shipwrecked. No, it's a desert island. So I'm a camel. A camel? Yeah, it's a desert. 